Long ago, two races ruled over the Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, dot dot dot, <clears throat> Mount Ebot, 20, 2201X, legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Looks like we got like what appears to be a ambiguous child tripping into the mountain. Perhaps? Yep, tripping into the mountain. Oh boy, falling fit, falling face first. Some giant pillars, at the top of the mountain. <clears throat> Undertale. Welcome to the game, everybody. This is Undertale. <clears throat> this is one of my favorite games to play. Just give me a second here. Uh, let me just get myself reacquainted with this. It's been a while since I played. Uh, full screen, okay. And if I push that, I... yep. I'm not sure how that looks to you, but I'm I just entered full screen mode. Okay. Z and X are the main controls. <clears throat> now we'll take a look at the settings quick. Oh, that's all. Yeah. All right, let's begin the game. Oh, we'll choose a name. I know the true name of this character. <clears throat> this is a game that has a very, uh, a very intricate story, and I love it so much. It makes me feel things. You're going to feel things too if you continue with the series. I, s I swear. Chara, the true name. Let's do it. <clears throat> We're playing Undertale, everybody. We're playing. <clears throat> this is after my recording with Doki Doki Literature Club. I needed to play this game so that I could get through that game. Alright, this is Undertale. We are an ambiguous, genderless little child. Kinda looks like a girl, but also could be a boy too. You know, like, you can't, you really can't tell. Definitely a very plain looking face, but you know what? Somehow I like it. I like it. I'm just gonna walk over to the side here. It's very quiet right now. Let's walk through the store. A nice little flower. Howdy! I'm Flowey! Flowey the flower! Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go! <clears throat> See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. We can move our soul around. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of love. What does live stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Wink. <laughs> Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. But I don't know if I trust them. Ooh, the music's getting crazy. A little weird. Hey, buddy, you missed them. Let's try again, okay? I don't know if I want to get hit by them. Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets! Friendliest pellets. Oh, no. No, we're not gonna do it. Admittedly, I do know what happens in this game. But, you know. <laughs> you know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. Oh, shit, dog. Die! Oh, it's encircling. It's getting closer. Coming closer to us. It's getting closer. Oh! What's going on? What? <laughs> Our goat mom. What a terrible creature torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, uh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Torio, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You're the first human to come in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. 
this way. Uh, good old goat mom. I love her. Now for one of my favorite songs in this. Uh, I love this game. I love the environment. I love exploring. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. We'll save our game. I forgot I had to do a full reset of this game because this game remembers the choices that you make. This is like the epitome of a game where the choices matter. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. There we go. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between ver diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. So, one neat thing about this game is that, uh, is that only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk the middle road. But wait. Both not both walk not the middle road. <clears throat> so, one neat thing about this game is that it's a, it's a your typical RPG or role-playing game, but it's the ver very first RPG where you can get through the whole game without killing anybody. And that is the and that is what we're gonna do. We are going to do what is called the pacifist run. I just did air quotes right there. And it's it's got a the pacifist run has a the pacifist run has a story that will just make you feel so many things. To make progression here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you that you need to flip. Press Z to read signs. I already did that. Stay on the path. Uh, so. Here's, a, here's something. Please press this switch. Toriel. Pressing. Please press this switch, too. Toriel. No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. Of course, I just want to see what would happen. Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to prepare for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. When you are in a fight, strike up, strike, strike up a friendly conversation. Solve for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. I love this music. You encounter the dummy. Uh, let's... Let's, uh, let's just act. Uh, let's check the dummy. Dummy, zero attack, zero defense. A cotton heart and a button eye. You are an apple, you are the apple of my eye. <laughs> <clears throat> dummy looks like it's going to fall over. So let's talk to it. You talk to the dummy. Dot, dot, dot. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won. You earn zero XP and zero... Uh, gold. This game has a lot of humor to it, and I love it. Ah, uh, very good. You are very good. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Let's just follow our goat mom over. Oh, oh. Battle. Froggit attacks you. We will act and check the Froggit. Is it four attack, five defense. Life is difficult for this enemy. Get away. Oh dear, okay. You won. You earn zero XP and zero gold. Let's move on now. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. I know that, but we're not even we're not we're not, we're not even gonna know. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. I'm just gonna take a sip of coffee while she solves this puzzle for us. This is a bit of a play on like the tutorials that like just hold your hand through everything. That's how I like it. Puzzles seem a bit a little too dangerous for now. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. No, but goat mom, don't go. Do do. This is a very long hallway. I'm making a new goal. I'm not going to. I'm, whenever there's a lull in, when, in whatever I'm playing, I always fill it. I always fill it with so yeah. But I'm going to make it a point to never say so yeah anymore. 
We're done with that. We're done with that. We're just gonna move into whatever. Ah. I, uh... Oh boy, that's already difficult. <laughs> Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important task reason for this exercise. To test your independence, I must attend to some business, and you must stay here alone for a while. Please remain here. It is dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. <laughs> if you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? And with that, we're going to end today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode of Undertale. We are in for we are in for a really great game here. Uh, uh, oh, oh yeah, it's a uh, F4 head press. There we go. Bye.